Uh, well, we're here at Lemon Tree in Natick. It's a consignment shop, which means it's secondhand fashion. And we encouraged people to come out. They were kind enough to provide beverages and snacks. And we're just getting people interested in buying things secondhand um, because it really reduces the carbon footprint um, of your clothing. Um, the fashion industry can be really hard on the environment. And so by buying gently used secondhand stuff, you can get great deals and you, you know, keep things out of landfills. Well, I think there's there's a lot of concern about what we call like the disposable fashion industry and fast fashion and the speed with which people buy items because they can be manufactured inexpensively, um, but then they don't necessarily hold up. So I would argue that perhaps buying a higher quality item that lasts for longer is better for the environment um, and buying things that are a little bit more classic um, because some of these trendy fashion things, if you're buying a t-shirt for $10, like you really kind of have to wonder like how did they make it, manufacture it, ship it, like how concerned were they with the environmental process of doing that? How much did they pay for the labor to make that t-shirt? And when you're buying something secondhand, you're keeping it out of the landfill, um, you're preventing somebody from having to actually manufacture a second t-shirt. The money is going um, to somebody who is selling you the shirt um, instead of to a giant corporation that's then going to reinvest that money into producing a continual stream of trendy fashion that might need to be disposable. I mean, sustainable wealth is about reduction um, as well as thinking about climate change as far as your diet. Um, we'll talk about gas leaks, plastic reduction, renewable energy, um, making our local government make decisions that are healthy for our community. And this is just a fun event to just bring people together, um, have a little fun, and think about reduction and reuse. And just pre-loved items are still fabulous, whether it's for yourself or a gift. I think we talk a lot about recycling and we need to talk a little bit more about refusing and reusing because unfortunately China has started to refuse a lot of the recycling for the United States and even though the Wellesley RDF is very conscientious, they do an excellent job, it's really difficult for them to find, for, for us to, I think it's it's too much to assume that everything that goes into the recycling bin is actually going to successfully be recycled and there's too much plastic continuing to be made. So every time we can kind of refuse something or reuse something, that's a better choice. Well, we, um, we started the store about 10 years ago and we're up by the Dairy Queen. We moved down here about a year and a half ago and it's been a great move. A lot of pe new people, a lot of people coming in. Uh, the last place we were in was 500 square feet, so we were a little cramped. So we have uh, um, organized it. We try to organize it so that it works well for people so that they can find things. I mean, the handbags will take, sometimes they fly out in three or four days, sometimes a few weeks, it depends. Uh, the goods, the the best items they're they're gone in about a week and uh, you know and then things hold on for six weeks at a time and then every week there's more new items coming in we have people who come back once twice a week and uh, we have people who check us out on Facebook and see what the newest items are there and uh, also on our website so we have people ordering from across the country at least a little bit um, in 2009 2008 when everything it went bad. Um, my friend and I, we just decided that this would be a good business to open in a, a bad economy and uh, for a low price and we just ended up really enjoying the people who come in and shopping for things and helping them find what they need.